the time parents were annoyed that they had to pay me, part one. Hi, I'm just calling to confirm tomorrow's party and ask that you please have the balance in cash or check since Venmo takes a fee. You got it, cash or check. All right, everyone, it was so lovely meeting you, but it's time for me to go. Goodbye. We should do family photos. Everyone, thank you for having me. Mom, we're doing photos. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm leaving. I thought you were going. Um, yes, I am leaving. I am just waiting for my carriage, so I'll wait in the lobby. Bye. Cinderella, let us see your car. Where is it? Where's the car? Hi, sorry, when you get the chance, can you tell the birthday girl's parents that I'm out here, please? Thank you. Hi, uh, what do you need? Hi, do you have the balance? Can I just Venmo you tomorrow? No, as I said over the phone, it takes a fee, so I require cash or check. For I know, but we're trying to have a party right now. I'm just gonna get my husband, you can talk to him. The time parents were annoyed that they had to pay me, part two. I'm just gonna get my husband, you can talk to him. I'm just gonna write a check, because I don't know if you noticed, but we're trying to throw a party, so just give me a second. Blah, 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 I'm throwing a party, blah, 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 I'm being a jerk, blah, 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 blah. And there is the money. There you go. Well, I won't keep you any longer, so thanks so much for having me. Bye. I know a bunch of people always say, like, I accept my balances at the beginning. This is why you should do that. And listen, I get it, but here's the thing. If the customer really wanted to pay me at the beginning of the party, they would have, because I've had customers ask before, can I pay you now? And I say, yeah, sure. What bothers me is that this customer seemed so annoyed that they had to pay me in general. Like, yes, this is my job and I love my job, but it's a job. I need to make money. Just another glamorous day. Hi everyone, I'm going to explain um, my booking policy, my prices a bit. Um, Keep in mind, every company is different, so what I do might not work for you, and that's completely okay. You run your own company, you do what you want. Going off of this low fees comment, um, honestly, my in-person parties are pretty comparable to the other princess party businesses in my area. What I do have really low fees on are my Zoom calls, my princess video messages, and I'm gonna tell you why. Those options were really popular during the pandemic, and I honestly just wanted to make affordable options for people. And the reason that I still keep those options up is because when I was a kid, I could never afford to go to Disney World. I never had a party princess. And so if there's a cheaper option that I can make available to people, why not keep it up there? Why not spread some extra joy? Again, that's my choice. I know those fees for the Zoom calls are pretty low, but I don't complain about it unless someone doesn't want to pay me. Okay, so part two is my booking policy for in-person parties. I ask for 50% in order to keep your date, book your date with me. Um, that can be through Venmo, PayPal, you can send a check in the mail. I don't mind the Venmo fee when that is happening because it's just easier to receive the deposit that way and that's fine. Then I ask for the remaining balance in cash or check as I go to leave the party. And there is a reason why I do this. Because I'm a one-woman princess company and I do fully accept the money that I earn from each party, um, a lot of families assume that I don't need a tip and they don't tip me. But once I started accepting the money after I showed them what I could do, um, after I sang, after I did all the activities with the kids, I realized people are more likely to tip me when they're also giving me the balance. And I've had people tell me like, well, Brooke, I would rather just get the money up front than get a tip anyway. But when you think about it, tips are so helpful because there's gas, there are costume maintenance things, there are the books that I have and the Apple music that I use for the parties. And so just a little extra always goes such a long way. Also legally, I do have to use the Venmo business account and that takes 1.9% plus 10 cents, I believe, out of every transaction. Um, and that's not when it's a bank transfer, that's just getting the money in general. So yeah, that's my policy, that's a little explanation of my prices. I know not everyone's gonna like it, and that's okay. We all have our own reasons why we do things, and this is mine. So I hope you have a great day, and thanks for listening. What if my wings fall off when I'm Tinkerbell and more? Welcome back to What If, the series where you ask me things that have never happened to me before and I show you what I do. I've gotten a lot of requests for Tink recently, so let's go through them. Tinkerbell, why aren't you really small? 
oh, well, I wanted to make sure that I was big enough today so that everyone could see me and I could dance with all of you and no one would accidentally squish me. <laughs> so I asked Queen Clearing if she could use some special pixie dust to make me a bit bigger, and she did. Tinkerbell, can you fly for us? Oh, I'm sorry. With all these balloons and decorations, it's a bit dangerous, and it's a little too windy outside right now. <gasps> Tinkerbell, your wings! Well, when I told you earlier that Queen Clary made me bigger so that I could dance with you, she actually turned me into a human because it's safer for me to travel this way. But I knew that you wanted to see my fairy wings so much, I tinkered some just so you could see. Would you like to try them on? The time my own words were used against me by a three-year-old. I want the dog to save the princess. Oh, the unicorn is better and I'm older, so that's what we're doing. That's not fair! Hey friends, why don't we try both? It's important that we listen to one another and give everyone's ideas a chance. Okay, everyone, before I go, do we have any questions? Yeah, can we play another game with you? Oh no, I'm so sorry, I only have time for a few more questions. Why do you get to choose what we do? Well, Elsa, don't you remember what you said? We have to give everyone's ideas a chance. Yeah, that's what you said, Elsa. Game, game, game. Did this game, to myself. Game, game. The time Barbie had to slam the door on some kids. Goodbye, everyone. I had so much fun with you. Thank you for coming. Would you like anything before you go? I know it was a long trip. Thank you. Um, yeah, can I use your restroom? Absolutely. It's right down the hall. Great. Thank you. <sighs> Wait, does this door not lock? No, no. Okay, okay. Calm down. Um, it's okay because the door is all the way over here and the toilet is all the way over there. So what could go wrong? Pee, pee, you have to pee right now. Pee right now, pee. And Barbie, are you peeing? We're gonna come in. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> okay, ready or not, here we come. No, you slammed the door on us. Oops, that was an accident. I heard you yell too. Oh, Ken's calling. I have to go. <laughs> Bye. I felt kind of bad about slamming the door, but like privacy is privacy. So let me know down below if you would have done the same thing. How I'll be doing parties now that I've seen Wicked on Broadway. Hello, everyone. It's good to see me, isn't it? Don't answer that. You're all five. Of course it is. Cinderella, how did you get here? Uh, by bubble, of course. Wait, I thought you rode a carriage. Bubble, carriage, they're all the same. <laughs> Why were your stepsisters so mean? That's a good question. One that many people find confusifying. Are people born wicked or do they have wickedness thrust upon them? Princess Wave and Toss Toss. Toss Toss. <laughs> oh, I do love a dream is a wish your heart makes, but I was thinking whenever I see someone less fortunate than I. And like, thank you so much to Wicked and yes, Broadway for having me last night. I love the show. Mackenzie Kurtz and Alyssa Fox were so amazing. And let me know down below if you'd want a Glinda or Elfie party. The time the kids asked me to take my seashells off and the conversation just kept getting more and more hectic. Ariel, I have a question. If you're a mermaid, then why do you have feet? Asked my father to turn me into a half human, half mermaid so that I could be here with you today and you could see my mermaid tail, but this way I could dance with you. So, does that mean you can take the shells off? Can we see that? Um, <laughs> well, I... Um, she can't take it off or else we'll all see her nipples. <sighs> um... <laughs> ah, nice questions, kids. Aren't I right, Ariel? You wear shells so we don't see that. My seashells are just like my bathing suit, like how you have a bathing suit and you wear one. So do I. Yeah, but your baby suit top is a lot bigger than mine. Those are big seashells. Well, you are all still little mermaids, so... <laughs> Anyways, let's play a game now. I never know what to expect at parties, but I was not expecting that. When parents want to do my job, or at least that's how they act. Hello, I'm here. Hi! Oh, I am. Um, I thought you'd be wearing glass slippers, but you know, that's just what I would wear as Cinderella. I'm a perfectionist. I yeah, I like to wear sparkly flats because it's easier for me to dance and play with the kids in, and I just tell them that Fairy Godmother turned my glass slippers into flats for me. Cute! I mean, not what I would do, but cute. All right, birthday girl, would you like a story or a song? Story! Right, here's our story. Cinderella, I feel like the kids would want a song. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, but your daughter picked out a story. Oh, of course, yeah, she probably gets that from me. I'm like, Belle, I love to read, so. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm going to teach you a little dance to my friend Sleeping Beauty's song. You'll love me at once the way. Oh, 
wow, that was great. Listen, I don't want to step on any toes. I'm a singer too. Um, that song is pretty high for kids to sing along with. I think you should choose a lower song next time. Maybe stick with uh, the Cinderella song. Oh, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. You know what? Here, I think you want this. So just do it. Do when the kids wanted me to eat flounder. All right, does anyone have any questions for me before I go? Hmm, what do mermaids eat? They eat sand, which is sponge cake and watermelon. And then after all of that, is that when you eat flounder? <laughs> wow, that's a great, wait, what? Don't you eat flounder? My family had some the other day, although it looked a little bit different than your flounder. I would never eat flounder. Fish are friends, not food. If mermaids ate fish, wouldn't that kind of be like them eating their own kind? I don't know. What do you think mermaids eat? Let me know down below. What if none of the guests came to the party? <laughs> Welcome back to What If, the series where you ask me about things that have never happened to me before and I tell you what I do. But I really hope this would never happen. Hi, I'm here. Hi, I'm just checking to see if you're still coming to the party, so give me a call back. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's been an hour and none of the guests have showed up yet. I don't think anyone's coming. Sally is really upset right now, so she went back in the house. Oh no, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, can I go talk to her still? That would be great. Happy birthday, friend. Um, how are you feeling? Sad. My friends didn't come because they don't like me. Well, we don't know that. Um, maybe someone felt sick or they got hurt, a last minute conflict happened, but you're still valid in your feelings of being upset right now. How about this? Let's do whatever you want. We can play games, we can sing songs, you can show me all of your favorite toys. It's not every day that someone gets to say they can spend a whole hour of just them and a princess. You're right, and I have some awesome toys to show you. I promise you we'll have the best day ever. And look, one more friend just came. Honestly, depending on the situation, like if it was a case where all the kids purposely didn't come to this person's party, I would probably offer to do it for free just because I'd feel so bad, but I would try my best to make sure that it was extra special, that we got lots of photos and videos so that they can show their classmates that they had an awesome time with a princess, and I would do whatever I could to just make them happy. The second time, a child wanted me to leave their birthday party. Barbie? Yes? I want to open my presents. Oh, um, I think that you might do that later, but for now, there are so many fun things to do while I'm here. And after you go, I get presents? Uh, maybe, but I definitely have a gift to give you before I go. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. I had such a great time with you. Here's your gift. Do you have anything else that you want to tell me or show me or ask me before I go? Yeah. Oh, wait, let me film this. <laughs> Can you go now? Oh, it, yes, I think it's time for me to get back to the dream house. Okay, uh, bye everyone. Thank you. That was awkward. Help me make up a lie about my new Elsa wig. Oh, don't worry, it's not this one. We're gonna let it go, let it go. Hi everyone, so today I am going to be trying on a brand new Elsa wig. I have been having the hardest time finding an Elsa wig that works with my face shape, that makes me feel confident, and I finally saw this one on LM Fantasy Wigs. And I am so excited to try it on, so let's see! Ta-da! Here is my new wig. I'm still learning how to pin it correctly, uh, so don't mind that, but I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks a lot more put together um, and just more Elsa-y. So let me know down below what you think. And also, a lot of you are always concerned about the net on my Rapunzel braid. So I was thinking if a child asks me about a net with this braid, I will just tell them it's to protect my hair against my icicles. Let me know if that's a good lie or if you have a better one. Thanks so much for watching.